Perhaps your being able to see me is a result of our uh, respective space-time dimensions overlapping. In which case, the possibilities are truly limitless. Well, I haven't heard that statement in a little while. Uh, welcome back to Gravity Rush, everyone. I'm your host, Vincent Vallea, and we're going to start off with finding the time-traveling uh, husband. Singler, I was worried I wouldn't see you again. What? I haven't gone anywhere. We've been talking this whole time. Huh? But you disappeared until I found you again, just now. Hmm. If what you say is true, then the variance between our represent respective timelines is causing me to perceive this as one conversation. Does that mean I have more time than you? Well, theoretically, if you could jump back and forth between our dimensions, that might be the case, but since you can't, it's just an issue of perspe perception. In theory, you could suddenly disappear again and uh... And there he goes again. I wonder if he's thinking he's still talking to me. That is the greatest weirdness to these time travelers. But let's get to the meat of this episode. Which... right there. I landed a little low, uh... Old man, how's it going? You keep... you've been keeping busy, huh, Gravity Queen? Nice pick. They got your good side. Yeah, I kind of like that angle. Seems like you're taking uh, the hero business. Yep, and I'm ready to bring back more of the city. Right. Then step. Then let's get started. Yeah, I feel the same. Uh... Oh. I don't think those are fresh. And you got a weird ass mouth. Ooh. Uh. Kiyasi killed the cat, I guess. So if you guys aren't getting it. I can't use my powers here. All well, because you decided you wanted to eat something off the ground. You feeling okay, Dusty? You're acting funny. Dusty, please, I need you to stay focused. You have to bring the missing part of town back. Now this dream just became a nightmare. Way forward, I better get a move on. Yeah, one step at a time. Oh! Get your ass up! Get up! Get up! Small steps, everyone. Small steps. <sighs> Something's not right with Dusty. Gotta really watch what he eats nowadays. Unfortunately, I even forgot about that. <laughs> 
So right now, speed is of utmost importance. And... Dispersing the use of my abilities... Very lightly. Try that again. One step at a time. Urchins. Main problem is I put most of my combat points into gravity kicks. So, whoa. Close one there. Gotta be careful with each of my attacks on this. Heavy have been defeated. And we're going that way. Hmm. Well, I could technically make it there instantly using all of those I'd rather collect these give me extra points cuz uh, yeah I've been really need really been needing to take care of oh shit of my uh, gravity kicks. Oh, not my gravity. Words. Process. I need to be upgrading my regular kicks, not just my gravity kicks. Glad I upgraded the recovery time. That could have got me killed. Now let's try this again. What part of again, don't you understand that cat? Well, at least I landed on it. Whatever. Yeah, I understand that I need to follow the light. Ow. Alright, now that I'm here...
Okay. Really hope this one stays put. Good, good. Now I gotta deal with this freak. Oh! Fortunately, I have a solution. Not the most graceful of solutions, but worked a whole hell of a lot better than what was going on. Underside, huh? Oh. Huh. Well, I'm gonna take a little detour. Get lined up. And I missed one. Fantastic. But, if I can tell from here, it looks like I found uh, the wife. Yep, here's the wife. Showing up more and more. It's you! Can you see me again? Why is she able to see me when no one else can? My name is Nala. Do you have a name? Look at me. Talk as if I... <laughs> Talking as if she can hear me. I've been apart from my husband for so long. It feels nice just to, uh, even just to pretend to be seen. <sighs> if only she could hear me. Does she think I'm a ghost? This world is so unreal. It feels like I'm in a dream. If only I could find my husband and... And I don't even get to speak to you. That's why people need to calm down and let others talk. Fire! Alrighty. Next shot is this way. What power this time? Is it the power to heal Dusty? Micro black hole. Okay, it's a ground based melee special. I'm going to take a minute of forcing my way over. That set is this way. Yeah, I know. If 
But every point counts. Alright, now let's try to get back. Again, forcing my way over. Ow! <laughs> Oi. Well, since they gave it to us. May as well use it. And while I'm at it, Nevi defeated, and no extra things to go get. Looks like a nice little town. Raven, are you here? You're not Raven. Come on, Dusty. Now's not a good time to be acting up. I need you. Uh, it's gotten into you. Did you eat something funny? Seriously, if I could sit here and pet you and make you feel better, I would, but... Game does not give me that option. Oh, that missed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Raven, I could use some help. My kitty's tummy hurts. Please help, Raven. I missed. You know, lily pads are a great symbol of this area right now. While they're beautiful, I could die at any moment from them. Alright, Dusty, this is the last one. That didn't work.
feeling this is gonna fail. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, now you picked up the cookies. You feeling better? <sighs> what now? <laughs> Come on, I just defeated you. Everything's going wrong. Oh, I defeated the Nevi in the Rift Plane. How'd it cross over into the city? Are you feeling better, Dusty? I'm gonna need you. And that's where I'm gonna cut this episode right here. If you guys enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you wish. And I'll see you guys next time.